Uh, this is a short video. Uh, I've uh, gotten uh, quite a bit of uh, emails from uh, subscribers about uh, me recommending uh, books where they could uh, read about on switching power supplies. So this video is uh, intended for that purpose. Uh, I listed the videos or actually the books that I would recommend. Uh, the first book that I would recommend and uh, is the Switching Power Supply Design, the second edition by Abraham Pressman. This is a very good book. This is a book that I initially started reading and learned about switching power supplies. Doesn't have much on uh, modeling but it does have or it covers the basic I believe this is probably the f one of the very first books that was written on the subject of switch mode power supply so usually I treat it as kind of like the Bible in a way so if you read this book very carefully uh, you'll have a very good understanding uh, on switching power supplies it covers both uh, flybacks and forward converters and there are some other topologies and I believe the even uh, covers uh, resonant converters so it's a very good book it does have uh, some equations in there uh, it doesn't have the rigor uh, that some of the other books uh, like the fundamental of power electronics by Ericsson and uh, Dragon Malisovic. However, the math that is in there is just uh, is good enough to get you a very good design. So I highly recommend that you get this book. Uh, if you go in, you can look at uh, some of the topics, and it goes through the buck boosts, uh, uh, inverters, and so forth. Basi basically there's three topologies a buck a boost and a buck boost a buck boost is is a flyback okay and uh these are the the table of content okay and uh it has a a section of magnetics so this is another uh good book uh not only to learn about so switching power supplies but also a good book on learning about magnetics and transformers and so forth okay and, oh let me go back and as far as the magnetics and then uh, uh, as far as designing magnetics they have uh, or he has a table in there where if you let's say you need a, a power supply that needs uh, let's say 45 watts okay well, on the table you can look up uh, the number of cores that are available and the frequencies that you would want to operate and then you can look up under the power levels for each core and you can select the proper core that will give you you know the required 45 uh, watts of power that you, you you would need in your design so those tables are invaluable in that you don't have to calculate anything you just kind of look up in the table and you say okay 45 I can use a P you know 25 23 core and so forth so it's a very good book in regards to that and the other thing feedback that I can say is it's a very readable book it's uh, you can see a little bit of a sample here it's very readable and uh, has many illustrations so it's a very very good book overall uh, to learn so that would be my first recommendation okay the second book that I would highly recommend is switching power supplies A through Z okay uh, also I would recommend the second edition I believe there's a third edition I have not seen it uh, but uh, as soon as I get a chance I'll probably look it up and see if there's anything any additional material but this book is very good 
is by Sanyaya Manitakla and his this book is also very good okay and the math is also good uh, he covers the theory as well as a little bit of the math and the, his writing style is very good it's very understandable and he presents concepts especially in the magnetics part he explains magnetics very very well uh, there is a section in there chapter 8 conduction and switching losses this is something that the Pressman book doesn't cover in detail but it is covered in detail in this book okay so reading this it, where it explains the conduction the switching losses gives you a intuitive feel of where your inefficiencies in the power supply actually come from and once you have that then you can account for those efficiencies and in some cases you may be able to improve the efficiency by lowering those inefficiencies and I believe uh, they also have a very good section on input filters that's where I got most of my uh, reference material uh, on the videos that I made for input filters he explains it very well so I would recommend highly recommend this book as well and again let me go ahead and see it's very well il illustrated it's got good uh, it's got the equations I mean it's it's uh, there's very little that I would try to add that would improve it it's a very good book and uh, it's got charts and explains uh, the concepts very very well okay so that's the second book the third book is more of a textbook it's the fundamentals of power electronics by Eric Robert Erickson and Dragan Maximovich there are two professors from the University of Colorado Copec and uh, they developed this book that were they use in their power electronic uh, classes that they teach I believe they they have a uh, power electronics one two and three the third I believe is resonant converter and this book is a textbook uh, it explains things uh, good not as well as the Pressman or the Sanyaya book however what it does have it has mathematical rigor meaning that he they plow through the math okay so and to some the rigor may be too much too much math but for those that do like the mathematical rigor this is the book uh, to get and as you can see let me see if I can it has plenty of schematics plenty of illustrations and like I said they they go through the whole math where they use the integrals and derivatives and so forth and uh, it's very very rigorous okay so anyway this is another good book and if you're into rigor and mathematics then this is the book uh, I would recommend this book as well okay now if you don't have any books uh, there are a series of uh, seminar books that Unitrode uh, used to have I, I believe if you go to the uh, SMP 
ps us backslash unitro 2html you'll come to this uh, website uh, and these are some of the publications that Unitro originally made on the subject of switch mode power supplies. They began all the way back uh, in 1983 and these are the subjects and I believe the last ones are maybe 1986. These are the 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 uh, literature that was published on switch mode power supplies. Uh, they're part of TI now and they've been moved but I believe you have to register for them uh, or on their website to be able to read them but if you can find them these are some of the topics that you uh, can read uh, and learn about switching power supplies. Now going back uh, for those that do modeling which I do a good book would be the I believe is switch mode switch mode power supplies by Christopher Basso okay uh, switch mode power supplies uh, that would be by Christopher Basso this is the book that I would recommend okay Okay, this is the uh, book that I would recommend if you're into modeling. Uh, it's the Switch Mode Power Supply 2nd Edition, Spy Simulation and Practical Design by Christopher Basso. Okay, you can get a either hardcover or Kindle. And it's very slow. And this book has also covers the fundamental of the power supplies. Okay. Uh, may not be written as well, but it does have mathematical rigor, plenty of illustration. And what he does is that he shows you how to build models and there's basically two models they're switching models where you can ca calculate the voltages and the currents and there's uh, average models where you can calculate the open loop response of the power supplies and also do transient analysis and uh, this book teaches you how to model switching power supplies like for example here's uh, I believe that's a current mode PWM how to analyze it how to derive the equations and how to model and so forth so anyway these are the books that I would recommend and uh, like I said start with the Pressman book and uh, if uh, you're into modeling, then the Christopher Basso book would be the one that you want to get.